A lady of letters. A young writer who went from without rags to riches. <laughs> also star of Star and Garter, our own Gypsy Rose Lee. <laughs> Have you the faintest idea about the private life of an exotic dancer? Well, up until a few years ago, it was New York's second largest industry. <laughs> now, a fan dancer's education requires years of concentration. And for the sake of explanation, take a look at me. I began at the age of three. <laughs> learning ballet at the Royal Imperial School in Moscow. Oh, I suffered and suffered for my art. Then, of course, Sweet Briar. Oh, dear college days. <laughs> and after four years of psychology, zoology, biology, and anthropology, <laughs> my education was complete. And I was ready to make my professional debut for the Minsky's on 14th Street. <laughs> now, the things that go on in a fan dancer's mind would give you no end of surprise. But if you're psychologically inclined, there's more to see than meets the eyes. For an example, when I lower my gown a fraction and expose a patch of shoulder, I'm not interested in your reaction or in the bareness of my shoulder. I'm thinking of some painting by Van Gogh or by Cezanne. Or the charm I found in reading Lady Windermere's fan. When I lower the other side, my other shoulder. Do you think I take the slightest pride in the whiteness of that shoulder? I'm thinking of my country house or the jolly funny shooting grouse. <laughs> There's the music and that's my cue. There's only one thing left to do. So I do it. And when I raise my skirt, the slyness and dexterity, I'm mentally computing just how much I'll give to charity. <laughs> and though my stockings I have revealed, and just a bit of me remains concealed. <laughs> I'm thinking of the life of Dusa. <laughs> Well, the third chapter of all this in heaven, too. <laughs> and none of those men whose minds were obscene. Ooh. They leave me apathetic. I prefer the more aesthetic. Things like dramas by Racine. <laughs> the last thing off. Oh. Well, practically. <laughs> and stand there shyly, looking demurely at every man. Do you believe for one moment that I'm thinking of art? No! Well, I certainly am. <laughs> anymore. Oh. Who would like it didn't star and got her? Oh, boys, I couldn't. I catch cold. Oh. <laughs> Don't you ever smile, Mr. Sparks? I'm smiling now. Well, uh...